Regenerative World Building. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 76. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 76, August 15th, 2014 edition. As always, we're going to be covering with pictures and video is our accomplishments for the last week. And if you would like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our email and newsletter list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner-teacher collaborative, and it includes California state education standards. This week the core team, which consists of the Satellite and Pioneer members, finished the first 25% of the Harmony Lesson Plan Mind Map. Visit our website for complete lesson plans and mind maps and to learn the details of how to use these for teaching any subject to any age. On a light and fun note, we also created a new image and updated the header for our Highest Good Education Open Source Hub. And behind the scenes, we wrapped up two weeks of interviews with Satyana Lukin, the founder of Imagine Wisdom Education, who has also been helping us with development of the Open Source Ultimate Classroom component. We'll be updating the page you see here with all the added details from her in the next week or so. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team finished adding the diversity details to the Uyuko section of the large scale gardening page. We added the nine you see featured here plus three more for a total of 12 along with cultural considerations, planting guidelines, and purchasing details. In this area of the project we are seeking a master electrician and a master plumber if you would like to help out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing inventoried all the pieces of the Murphy bed portion of the custom furniture designs for the Earthbag Village Dome Homes and Dome Home Crowdfunding campaign. This is taking the amazing work of Philip Gill and preparing it all for the creation of complete do-it-yourself building and assembly instructions. We also created three different layouts for the crowdfunding campaign Wet Dome that includes a toilet, shower, stove, combo washer, dryer, refrigerator, and eating area. These domes will fit on a 150 square foot footprint so that they can be built in many counties without a permit. We will also be providing a permitted version as part of our open source and crowdfunding campaign goals. Behind the scenes and related to the crowdfunding campaign, we also finished the rest of the research and content creation for the open source excavation, foundation, footers, and floor web tutorials. We'll start working on the page for that next, which is uh, the culmination of three weeks of research, well over 100 hours of time and energy put into that. We also finished the final 50% of the new open source plaster page formatting of Amira Kassem's research 
and we finished the initial formatting of Scott Howard's input into creating your own natural plasters. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team completed another 30 seconds of the Duplicable City Center 3D video, showing over two years of design work for this building happening in 3D. You can visit the written blog to see this at normal speed with music and with a series of additional images after the video that show more of the evolution of this structure over the past couple years. We also put our diesel generator macro to work, evolving the generator details, as you can see here. The image shows different generator daily and annual fuel costs we'd expect based on different solar production estimates. The image at the top is a graphic representation of our total power needs broken into their different proportions, starting with the most detailed, then showing how most of these are water heating applications and the rest are other electrical uses. In addition to all this, Ben Pollock with Web Food Service Design is helping us continue to evaluate what could be possible with a cooking hood heat capture and recycling unit. And James Nance of P2S Engineering finished the next phase of venting and exhaust design for the social dome, living dome, and laundry areas. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week the core team updated our final core value page covering community and how we view this core value as a foundation of global transformation and use it in our decision making process. Having completed this final value, we also redesigned all our menus on the website to include and feature all of our values. Everything one community is doing and creating is for the purpose of regenerative world building. Our idea is that if we create and live for the highest good of all, and if we bring other people together with a consciousness for the highest good of all, people that are thinking globally, that are thinking of solutions, that want to create a better world for everybody, if we bring a group together that's focused on that, we have the ability to positively and permanently transform this world for everyone. And so our idea of regenerative world building is to build solution models that are open source, free shared, adaptable, modifiable, and diversely applicable. This means addressing all of the foundations of a sustainable civilization, food, energy, housing, highest good education, highest good economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation focused on the highest good of all of humanity and all life on this planet, as well as recreational models and true earth stewardship. Putting all of these things together is a comprehensive model to build self-sufficient, self-sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that are designed to become not only self-sufficient and self-sustainable, but self-replicating. Solution models purpose specifically for building and creating additional solution creating models. The idea being that if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, then the models will spread on their own. Others will want to build solution models that create additional solution models too, and we can bring more and more people into the fold, teach more and more people how to do this, create more and more iterations and diversity and options for people with different ideas of what highest good living looks like, but all with a global focus. All with the idea to make things better, all with the idea to build foundations and be a part of the global collaborative creating a better world for everyone. We're here being the change that we want to see in the world because we know that it's possible to create a world that works for everyone. The technology exists, the desire exists, and so we're here to create that tipping point, to achieve that tipping point, that point where enough people are participating that it starts to spread like wildfire across the planet and make a difference in the lives of everyone. 
So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this is something you'd like to participate in, our team is constantly growing and we invite you to join us. Get involved in our project, get involved in what it is that we're creating. Do you see something that we're creating that you'd like to participate in, that you'd like to that you'd like to add your knowledge base, that you'd like to add your experience, your expertise to? Contact us. Join our team, either as a pioneer or as a satellite member or as a consultant or a partner. Get involved with what it is that we're doing and help us to make it better. Help us to open source and free share even faster. This is where up, what we're up to. Other ways that people can participate and help if you're not interested in joining our team is just by sharing everything that it is that we're doing. We're on all the social media networks. We are on Pinterest. We are on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Reddit. We are on Tumblr. We're on all the different social media outlets because we want to make it as easy as possible for people to have access to all the open source tools, tutorials, and resources that we're creating so that the ideas can spread quicker and so that more people can take what it is that we're doing and adapt it and change it make it their own, improve upon it, contribute to it, collaborate with us on it, all these things. And so sharing our information is hugely beneficial because people ask what is the number one thing that people can do right now to take this idea of regenerative world building to the next level. And that is really to connect us with the one person or the small group that could help us get the property off the market. We've been working on this property for three years, and the property specifically was chosen after two years of searching. It was chosen to share everything that one community is, to invite people to come and participate, to ultimately and eventually host tens of thousands of people annually coming to visit and experience everything that we're designing and de developing with one community to participate hands-on. And if they like it, to be able to take the open source and free shared blueprints of this initial prototype of this first teacher demonstration community village and hub and to duplicate it, to duplicate it anywhere in the world. And so sharing our information is a great way to do that, is a great way to help us to get the information out, to connect us with the people that we're looking to connect with and to invite others to participate. And so with that, I would like to say thank you as always for everybody that's following our project. Thank you as always for everybody that donates to our project. We're all unpaid nonprofit volunteers so every dollar that comes to us goes into forwarding the one community mission and continuing to move all of our open source blueprints and everything forward and of course uh, thank you to everyone who shares our information helps us to spread this model and get the information in the hands of the people that are most interested in it so that more people know about what it is that we're doing so with that I'll sign off uh, as always subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, if you'd like to receive an email update every time one of these updates comes out uh, send an email to one community updates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our email list. Thank you, and until next week, we will keep on keeping on.